बसमीम वेलकम एवरी बॉडी एंड नाउ लेट स्टार्ट द लेक्चर नंबर एट ऑफ द चैप्टर सॉलिड्स डेट इज अबाउट द मॉलिकुलर सॉलिड्स एंड स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ आयोडीन वट आर मॉलिकुलर सॉलिड्स मॉलिकुलर सॉलिड्स आर द सॉलिड्स डेट कॉन्सिस्ट ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स एंड दीज मॉलिक्यूल्स आर held together through intermolecular forces no depending upon the nature of the molecules molecular solids are of two types one are the solids that consist of polar molecules and other are the solids that consist of non polar molecules in case of polar molecules the intermolecular forces will be dipole dipole forces or in case of some solids that may be hydrogen bonding and in case of non polar molecular solids obviously the intermolecular forces will be the london dispersion forces the examples of polar molecular solids are sugar ice etc and the examples of non polar molecular solids are dry ice which is the solid co2 phosphorus sulfur iodine etc because the intermolecular forces in polar molecular solids they are stronger as compared to the non polar molecular solids so melting point order will be or the boiling point order will be that polar molecular solids they have higher melting and boiling points as compared to the non polar molecular solids relatively polar molecular solids have higher melting and boiling point as compared to the non polar now molecular solids have some characteristic features that are specific to molecular solids only and these are the characteristic features from which you can distinguish the molecular solids from ionic and covalent solids first is that they are relatively soft second is they are relatively easily compressible third is their melting and boiling points are low as compared to ionic and covalent solid their density is very low as compared to ionic and covalent solids and they have high volatility as compared to ionic and covalent solids and the reason for all these characteristic features that distinguish the molecular solids from covalent and ionic that is the presence of weak intermolecular forces while in case of ionic and covalent solids strong ionic and covalent bond is present but here there are weak intermolecular forces due to which these characteristic feature are seen now a question that i am going to tell you this question was asked in the entrance test of the mdk that a solid melts at 0 degree c it is soft in nature what type of solid it can be now there is no ionic covalent or metallic solid which melts at 0 degree c 
so that is the characteristic feature of the molecular solids that their melting points are usually very low and you know ice the melting point of ice is 0 degree c so ice is an example of that solid which melts at 0 degree c and the correct answer was the molecular solids because the options were ionic covalent molecular and metallic and the correct answer was the molecular solid again a very important point that dry ice and ice so ice is an example of polar molecular solid while dry ice is an example of non polar molecular solid similarly keep in mind very important point that all the solidified noble gases so all the solidified noble gases they are also the example of non polar molecular solids these are some important points that are important with respect to the mcq's short questions that are frequently asked in the final exams now let us move towards the second part that is the structure of iodine first of all you must have an idea that structure of iodine is face centered cubic structure so its structure is basically the face centered cubic structure now let us draw its structure that is very simple to draw again you are required to make i draw four points then draw another four points and join them to make a cube So first of all make a cube now secondly iodine is a molecular solid which consists of molecules so you will have to make two points at every corner which shows the i2 both iodine atoms so this will be the representation of the iodine molecule and two dots will be the iodine atoms actually similarly again two points again two points here so at every corner show the iodine molecule these are the iodine molecules now a face centered cube has the points are crystal points are crystal sides at the which are also called as the lattice points or lattice sides at the corners as well as at the center of the faces so you have made the lattice point at the corners now it is the turn of the center of the faces this one is the center of the above face top face so make an iodine molecule here similarly this one is the center of the face so another iodine molecule in the same manner this one is again center of the face and make another iodine molecule here 
अगेन This one is the center of the bottom face. And make an iodine molecule here. And similarly, This one is the center of the back face. So make an iodine molecule here. And this one is the front face. And here is the center of this front face. So again a molecule. Now you can see that molecules are present at the corners as well as the molecules are present at the center of the faces. Now join all the molecules which are present at the center of the faces. This one with this. Similarly, these two. At the end, these two. Now, all the molecules which were present at the center of the faces, they are joined together. And this one is the face centered structure of iodine a very important point is the iodine iodine bond distance now this iodine iodine bond distance is 271.5 picometer and 266.5 6 picometer 271.5 picometer is in solid iodine and 266.6 is in gaseous iodine and the difference of this bond distance is explained on the basis of the molecular orbital theory that is not discussed in the class 11 you are just required to remember these two values they are very important and keep in mind that this is not intermolecular distance these values are not intermolecular distance but these are the values of the interatomic distance which is also called as the bond length so you are required to memorize these bond lengths this was all about the molecular solid and structure of iodine next time inshallah we will come up with the metallic solids till then allah first